Uh, I got an email. I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned this last stream, but I was uh, just sitting around. And I got a call from Cogent. It's very weird. I had just been yelling about them. And I suddenly, uh, on my phone, on my secret number that I use for business dealings, I get a phone call from Cogent. I'm thinking, that's weird. So I call him back. And it's a guy he's from Virginia and he's the head of sales for the company. I don't know if it's like across the entire company or just in the U S or if it's just whatever, but apparently he's a big head honcho in sales. And he asked, Hey, uh, I just wanted to follow up. I saw that a couple months ago, we were in talks with you, your company to get a fiber set up for, you know, however much bandwidth. And I told him, ah, my good sir, you uh, don't seem, you don't seem to know that your CEO is directly involved in uh, purposefully trying to shut down my website and uh, has been blocking my subnets in different data centers around the world, uh, personally involved in trying to shut the site down. And he's like, oh, that's weird. I've never heard of that before in my career. I will look into this and sure enough he did and he sends me an email uh, a couple days later and he says Josh or sorry he says Joa he's he missed the S key and hit the A key so it says Joa straight up are you still running Kiwi farms or any ancillary websites that promotes doxing hate speech and anti LGBTQ messaging slash targeting if the answer is yes, then I won't be bothering you anymore. And it's just kind of weird. This man is a sales rep. He, uh, he exists to sell product to people. So in an ideal world, anybody he talks to willing to buy product from him is one that he will sell product to. However, it is the year 2023 and my boy, who is one of the, lead marketers for Cogent as a company uh, is more concerned about anti LGBTQ messaging. My boy believes that if you are in the business of anti LGBTQ messaging as defined by his personal ethos, then he shan't be bothering you with his marketing and connecting uh, your computers to the internet is no longer of interest. And this is, this is our brave new world where a small cabal of major companies have the unilateral authority to do whatever the fuck they want against your interests, against their own interests, against the interests of their company, uh, for the purposes of preserving messaging in his words, as long as the messaging is correct, you can have an internet connection. And uh, uh, this fills me with a kind of psychotic, blood-boiling rage that I can't really eloquate into words because it is, uh, it, it's like, it's kind of like a searing pain. Like when you burn your hand, you can't really articulate your, your, your anger. Your, uh, it, it's, a, it's sort of like a visceral, um, lower primitive feeling and not one that's in the higher thought feeling that you can you can take and convert to complex phrases it's more of a sort of like instinctual fight or flight response as opposed to something that is a philosophical position to express so that's why i'm not in such a good mood chat that's uh that's where i'm at so um The, uh, I feel, I feel like this will not be the end that Cogent will deal with me. I, I, I'm sorry to say that I missed their executive, uh, quarter three public, uh, communications, um, call in segment for their investor report. However, I will not be missing the next one and there will be a next one. And in fact, there'll be many more. Uh, they have to have these every couple months, every three months as it were. So there's always next time chat. Um, see anything else forum related? Not really. 
Uh, I made the decision just to, I, I feel like non-consensual pornography, what they believe is non-consensual pornography is their primary concern. So now that I've intercepted all the emails that Sean working for Liz Fong Jones and Honeycomb have sent to data centers and stuff, and I know the list of things they're claiming is non-consensual pornography. Um, I have put those on the, the sensor list and I'm curious I've, I, since then I've not received any complaints from any ISPs or any data centers. So I have a feeling cause it, it's one of those very binary things where it's like, you can say some like a website is anti LGBTQ messaging, but when you open a website and you see, you know, titties, you're like, Oh, that's titties. And this guy is claiming that those are non-consensual titties. So therefore, um, I am compelled, I guess, I guess they're afraid of certain laws in certain States. Let's not fuck with this. Um, just censor it. So I'm, I'm, Still waiting to see what happens as a result of that. For how long will you censor said topics? I don't know, motherfucker. I'm not, I'm not really like in a position where I can make commitments to certain time frames or circumstances. I'm in a, a blue ocean kind of field where every fucking thing I do is unprecedented in the history of mankind unfortunately or i don't know how things work i don't know i just do random shit at this point um and see how it works out so i can't commit to any time frames for that content at this moment uh sorry to disappoint my investors as it, as it stands yeah i am seething because it, it's fucking legal i don't know if you don't want your tits on the fucking internet don't post your tits on the internet i don't know what to tell you um it's like, it's not my fucking responsibility to manage your shitty personal privacy. Why the fuck is it on me? Why, why is it that a website with 16,000 people who log in every day and millions of people who view every month being penalized because one woman can't fucking put her tits away? Why is that my fault? I don't get it. No, no, personal responsibility has been completely, uh, completely lost. Nobody knows what they're doing anymore. And we need the government to intervene. We need Cogent and Dave Schaefer. Only Dave Schaefer's expert eye can inspect and determine what titties are consensual and what's, what, which ones are not. Thanks, Dave Schaefer. What a fucking hero Dave Schaefer is. He needs a cape. He needs a cape and a spandex suit so he can pull his arms up over his head and make wishing noises as he runs around the boardroom because he's such a fucking hero. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.